Dear Bingo, I can't imagine my life without you, and I can't imagine what I did before you. Dear Barrett, before my mother died in 2012, you came to my aid. Dear Shimmer, I loved you from the moment I met you. Your caramel brown eyes stared into mine and my heart was immediately captured. To my dearest Coley, you are a very special girl. You are so bright and eager to please. Dear Argon, I can trace the exact moment when everything changed, when something snapped in my head and everything went black. You have made it possible for me to feel comfortable to get out and do things. I will love and care for you for as long as we can be blessed to be together. Dear Rami, I proudly served my country in Iraq and Afghanistan, but I came back a different man. My brain injury left me confused and frustrated. Simple math problems would baffle me, and I would lose track in conversations, forgetting how to say what I mean, so I avoided them. And I brought the war home with me. Danger lurked around every corner, like in grocery stores. Those aisles are so narrow, with so much noise, and so many reflections. So the simple act of going shopping became a huge ordeal. Same with other public places, like banks and even the farmer's market. And forget about sleeping. I was lucky to get three or four hours a night. The rest of the time, I was up, worried about nightmares. This all left me tired, angry, and depressed. I couldn't hold down a job, I couldn't fit in. And even though my wife was incredibly supportive, my marriage was in big trouble. I became this hermit who didn't want to deal with people or things, locked up in my own damaged head. Dear Slider, I was born with spina bifida, a rare birth defect that made it so my spine didn't fully develop. I'm not able to walk, so I use a wheelchair to get around. I don't have any strength from my lower back down, so bending over to pick things up is difficult. And if I fall out of my chair, I'm not strong enough to get back in on my own. I'm currently living at home with my parents, and they both work. Before I met you, I was often home alone with not a lot to do. I heard about Freedom Service Dogs at the Vet Center in Grand Junction. From the moment I signed up, the healing began. My grandmother suggested we look into getting a service dog. A friend of the family knew someone that worked at Freedom. About seven months later, they called. They said they had a dog they thought might work and asked if we could come meet you. I was so excited. It took two years to finally meet you. I had visions of this perfect, sleek, beautiful lab. You know, the hunting labs that you see on TV. And then you walked around the corner. I have to admit, I was a little shocked. You had hair going everywhere, not a single hair going in the same direction. And that big black nose and these big starry eyes, you melted my heart, especially when you jumped into my lap. When I finally went to meet you, you put your paws on my lap and I was in love. You were gentle and mellow, but I could tell how much you craved attention and loved to play. I knew right away that you were the perfect dog for me and couldn't wait to take you home. Freedom Service Dogs, is it's the amount of support that you get. So there are other organizations that, that donate dogs, but they don't do it the way that Freedom Service Dogs does. They bring us in, we, we train for two weeks with our dog before we're released with the trainers, with Freedom Service Dogs. And they, they paid for all of that. And they asked for nothing from me, nothing. And, so you take that support, and then you take the fact that they call up, how's he doing? What's going on? Are you having issues? The follow-up, everything like that. It is an absolute money loser. <laughs> you think about it. You're spending $25,000, $35,000 on a dog to train him up. The support, the staff, the everything, and you're just going to give the dog to a veteran or to somebody that needs it. We need more. Uh, they just, they can't put enough dogs out um, to support the need. You know, there's a wait list of a year and a half to two years, uh, possibly for a dog. If you're sitting in my shoes and you're, you're worried about your marriage and you're worried about your life and everything like that, two years is a lifetime to wait. 
the more donations, the more that these organizations can bring in, the quicker they can get dogs to people like me. Rami, you are the dog of all dogs, a perfect match. We bonded and we trained together and we worked through my issues. You're so kind, caring, and funny. You make me laugh all the time. You're so helpful in picking things up that I've dropped and finding someone if I fall out of my chair. And now, since you came into my life, I've dedicated myself more to college. And you've definitely increased my social life. Well, at least the number of people I speak to on a daily basis, because they all want to meet you. I don't fear the public anymore. Part of that is you being with me. Part of that is you teaching me that it's okay. If you're not scared of something, then why should I be? It's simple when you think about it, but in my mind it's tough. You're an excellent judge of character, and you look around corners that I am sometimes afraid of. Sometimes I wonder what your life was like before you met me. I know you came from a shelter, and it wasn't easy, but I'm so glad we ended up together. And you get me outside more. You're like, the sun's out. Let's go. We have so much fun together, and I'm so much more energetic. You intervene when I get upset, and you get my mind off whatever was agitating me. And you wake me up from my nightmares so I can sleep better. My life is completely different with you. I'm going back to school, helping other vets, and even doing some public speaking. And most important, I got my marriage back. I've learned how to be more caring, to love, and to accept love again. Dear Slider, you've changed my life, and I hope I've changed yours. I love you so much. Dear Rami, you helped me find my true self that the war took from me. You literally gave me my life back. And for that, I love you. <laughs>